Southeast Radio's morning mix. Chat, news, and your views. Alan Corcoran. The rates issue for business in the Enniscorthy area saw a public meeting organised by the Chamber of Commerce take place last Thursday. Carl Fitzpatrick, presenter of Southeast Radio Business Matters and former president of Wexford Chamber, was there. He joins me now. Good morning to you, Carl. Good morning, Alan. Right, uh, commercial rates, calculating commercial rates, what is it? Alan, I'll start by providing a little bit of context behind this. Commercial rates are a statutory charge, the income from which is used to part fund Wexford County Council's expenditure. The total amount collectible in County Wexford for 2017 from commercial rates was €34 million. Euros. Now, the system for calculating commercial rates actually dates back to 1838. So it's a system that's very much out of date, very much not fit for purpose and completely inequitable. There's two parties involved in calculating commercial rates. Firstly, you have the local authority, which here is Wexford County Council. And secondly, you have the valuation office in Dublin. Rates are calculated by multiplying the rateable valuation of a property by the annual rate of valuation. The rateable valuation of a property is the value of the property determined independently by the Commissioner of Valuation with the Valuation Office. While the annual rate of valuation, which is a euro figure, is determined by the elected members of Wexford County Council at their annual budget meeting each year, and it's based on the deficit between council income and council expenditure for the forthcoming year. Now, interestingly, Alan, Wexford County Council's annual rate of valuation for 2018 is €73.67, which makes it one of the highest in the country. OK, so that is, in effect, the factors that affect the rateable valuation, or is there more information that you need to get? Alan, there's a range of factors that the Valuation Office take into account when calculating the rateable valuation of a property, starting with the size of the property itself and the number of floors that the property has. Then they look at the nature of the business that's operating within that property and they also take into consideration any seasonality aspects that that type of business may suffer from. They look at the location of the property, so whether it's a town centre location or a rural location. They look then to see if it is, let's say, a town centre location. Is it on a main street or is it on a back street? And that will affect the rate. And then finally, they'll also look at similar properties where similar businesses are operating within the area and look at benchmarking the rate against those. Wexford, the county of Wexford, is being re-rated. What does this mean? Firstly, Alan, the last commercial rates revaluation for the county took place back in 1983, so it is very much overdue in that respect. A revaluation for County Wexford starts in January 2019, and the purpose of the revaluation is to bring more equity, uniformity, fairness and transparency into the local authority rating system, resulting in a more equitable distribution of commercial rates amongst rate payers. Following revaluation, there will be a much closer relationship between the rental value or the valuation of a property and its commercial rates liability. And I do think it's worth noting that the National Revaluation Programme, once it takes place next year in County Wexford, will be reassessed every five to ten years thereafter. Now, in my last answer, I outlined a number of valuation methods that are used by the Valuation Office to assess a property's net annual value. However, the most common method is direct comparison with annual rental values of similar properties in the area. Now, other classes of properties, such as pubs, hotels and service stations, are valued by using trading data for the property. Now, revaluations have already been completed for Dublin, Limerick and Waterford and certainly some of the feedback that I'm getting from businesses across those areas is that Main Street properties, hotels and nursing homes and others have experienced significant increases in commercial rates. Now, can you just bring into play then the annual rate on valuation and Wexford County Council? Okay. The link between them. Now, Alan, historically, there were four different annual rates of valuation applied by Wexford County Council across the county. And the lowest rate was in New Ross Town Council at €55.47. In Enniscorthy, it was €65.13. In Wexford Borough Council, it was €67.66. And the county rate was €71.52. Now, in 2014, the Local Government Reform Act provided that there would be one existing rating authority which would be defined as a county council. Section 29 of that act provided for the harmonisation of commercial rates between former town council rating authorities and the new restructured counties forming the new rating authorities. In order to ease the transition for taxpayers to a standardised rate, the harmonisation of rates would take place over a maximum of 10 years. But instead of Wexford County Council easing this in over a 10-year period, they instead opted to do it in a fast-track method over just three years.
So in a nutshell, the four different annual rates of valuation, ranging from €55.47 up to €71.52, they all had to be brought up to the €71.52 within a three-year period. Now, to add further confusion to this, at budget time in November of last year, Wexford County Council's executive recommended to the county councillors that they would bring about a 3% increase in commercial rates. Now, that increase in commercial rates was going to be 3% onto the county rate of €71.52, which brings it to the current rate that we have today of €73.67, because this increase was approved by councillors on budget day last year. And did that lead to a lot of outrage then? No, Alan, it didn't lead to a lot of outrage at the time, because I think that the focus was more on the 3% increase in commercial rates rather than on the 21% increase as a result of harmonisation in some parts of the county. Now at the time Wexford County Council provided a rationale for the 3% increase in commercial rates which was that the additional 1 million euros which would be brought in due to the 3% increase would be leveraged to borrow a multiple of this and invested in economic development projects such as Trinity Wharf, Enniscorthy Business and Technology Park plus two advanced manufacturing buildings in New Ross. Now what puzzles me is that other county councils have been successful in securing government funding for similar projects but in Wexford, the business community are expected to fund them. Talk to me now a little bit about what happened in Enniscorthy on last Thursday night. We're here on the Monday morning this morning. There was a special meeting, and you know and I know that I've been to Enniscorthy and a hot debate followed on the morning mix straight after it as well. When we came across proprietors who've had their rates drastically, or see them drastically increased, one young proprietor, we're talking about a five times increase, and she simply said she will not be able to sustain it. So there was a meeting in Enniscorthy, organised by whom and who attended? Well, the meeting itself was organised by Enniscorthy Chamber of Commerce and the purpose of the meeting was to demystify how commercial rates were calculated. Now, in attendance on the night were members of the local Enniscorthy business community along with local county councillors. The main speaker at the event was Seamus Begley from Wexford County Council and he provided information about how commercial rates were calculated, the process for revaluation, which is starting in January 2019, what the role of Wexford County Council was and also the role of the valuation office in relation to commercial rates. What happened at it? Well, Alan, once the floor was open for questions and answers, there were many comments and questions from the local business community, ranging from criticism of the County Council for the 10% commercial rate applied to vacant commercial properties, even though the properties were advertised and available for lease. Concern was also raised in relation to why the County Council concluded rates harmonisation over three years, even though they had an option to do it over 10. It was also confirmed at the meeting by Seamus Begley that Wexford County Council is owed over €7 million Euros in commercial rates arrears and that the council's collection rate is 82% which he confirmed is 3% lower than the national average. There was also comments made in relation to what the real cost of the 3% increase in commercial rates was when you factored in rates harmonisation into the bill. I take it there was volatility in the meeting was there? Well, commercial rates have always been a very emotive issue right across the country, Alan, because they don't reflect the real world. There were a number of property owners from Enniscorthy who said that the commercial rates on their properties had increased dramatically this year. The response from Wexford County Council on the night was that it had nothing to do with them and that the valuation office must have increased their rateable valuation on the properties due to a material change being made to them. The property owners were adamant that their properties had undergone no material change whatsoever. And so what will come forward from this meeting? Because we, we do plan to have a full and open frank debate on this particular topic on the morning mix shortly. So what decisions were reached then? Now, no decisions were reached on the night, but property owners that had experienced dramatic increases in rates this year were asked to liaise on a one-to-one basis with representatives from Wexford County Council. I think that the stark reality is that a bigger problem lies ahead for town centre businesses next year right across the county as they face into the revaluation by the valuation office as they haven't visited the county since 19. 19- I also think that the meeting opened people's eyes to all that is going on with commercial rates, especially around the area of harmonisation, where now that all towns have a common annual rate of valuation being charged to them. Even though the footfall may be different in each town, this is the question that was raised. Like if you have a footfall, say in Gory of whatever thousands, and any of us reduced footfall into Enniscorthy, how can you have harmonisation if the footfall doesn't match? That's exactly why business people feel that this system is getting worse rather than better. Through harmonisation, 
organisation, remember the annual rate of valuation is gone from €55 Euros in New Ross and €65 Euros in Enniscorthy to €73.67. Euros. They are excessive increases and instead of being staged over 10 years, they were completed over three years. However, Alan, it is hoped that the revaluation process completed next year will redistribute the commercial rates liability more fairly between rate payers, after which there should be a much closer relationship between the rental value and its commercial rates liability, which of course will be to Enniscorthy and New Ross's advantage. Summarise it then, 60 seconds, where are we? Now Alan, where we are is that we're currently going through a sea change in relation to commercial rates. As a consequence of the Local Government Reform Act 2014, the four town rates applied across the county, ranging from €55 Euros to €71, Euros, have all increased to €73.64. Euros. We are also experiencing a 3% increase in commercial rates this year to assist Wexford County Council to invest in economic development projects. We are facing a 10% commercial rates charge for all unoccupied occupied industrial and commercial properties. But where are we going from here? We're facing into a complete revaluation of all commercial and industrial properties for commercial rate purposes in 2019. Now for counties where revaluations have already been completed, town centre properties, nursing homes and hotels will experience rate increases. Southeast Radio's Morning Mix. Chat, news and your views. Alan Corcoran.